Or, he's the most unprofessional little scaredy cat I've ever seen in my life. He wouldn't even fight me like a man after. So Andy Hamlin. And now look at how push go backwards because of that. And he did he went backwards because he showed the record. Oh, hey, he's here. Record. Where the guy is. So guys, 2012 will be two parts because I have one giant story to tell for 2012. This will be part one, part two will be coming in a few days. And I'm going to do 2013 next. Anyway, I'm back with another one of these best, funniest, craziest moments of the 2010 NASCAR decade. 2010s. Last time we did 2011, they were doing a part... A two-part special with 2012. And now we'll hop right into the video. The biggest story is the jet dryer. Now, the, the first biggest story is the jet dryer. Now, what put the jet dryer, you ask? The jet dryer is in it. I'll put a picture up. With one problem with my... I'll put the video. One problem with my toy, I slammed into a jet dryer, which caused this huge flame of fire. And it caused a huge red flag that has so many funny moments this is why it has to be part two two parts so let's get right into that i'll put the video first brad brad Keselowski tweeted while in the car and no i did take this out for nascar all out so i do not own this photo but he basically tweeted my fire fire my my pov and on twitter which is pretty cool because you can't do that but yeah, let's move on to the second thing that happened in this infamous jet dryer incident. All that happened on lap two. And what? now, under caution, Juan Pablo Montoya has crashed and gone aflame. Holy cow, what happened? We just got a report that he was complaining about a bad vibration in every gear. No, I, Larry, he just slammed he into the jet dryer. I think he slammed into the jet dryer. They're trying to clear debris off the racetrack and the car brakes won't steer and he slides up the track and in to the back of that surplus helicopter jet engine on a trailer used to dry the racetrack. Larry, uh, Mike, I saw sparks coming out from the car. Is some flakes or Cheez-Its? <laughs> or some Subway would be nice. I can't believe you came all the way over here and didn't bring something to eat for all of us. Well, we didn't, we didn't have a, really enough room in the truck for food. Yeah, Matt ordered some food, but the NASCAR didn't bring it yet, so... Uh... Yeah, we're just... So yeah, it looked like Brad Kowalski won the porta potty race. I was gonna originally talk about this with a different photo, but then I actually found the video, and it's pretty funny. If you listen to the crowd, let you listen to the crowd for a second. Oh, that. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. But I don't think there's any money, any many more more stories. It helped about the infamous jet dryer. I mean, I guess um, Carl Edwards wanted something to eat so bad, but they didn't bring him anything. And I put that in the video already. But I don't really know if there's anything else to talk about unless I talk about the rest of 2012. I mean, the rest of 2012 would take a while, but I'll definitely talk about it today instead of doing it too. Let's talk Martinsville Spring. 2011, 2012. This race, Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson had in the bag. They had a good strategy until a caution came out, which ruined their race. And then the second event was really stupid that I don't think anybody would ever, ever expect it for Clint to do. And, uh, yeah, it's coming on in a second. Whatever happened, what Clint did. Clint Boyer dumped... Jeff Gordon, yeah, 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 that wasn't, that was, if that wasn't stupid enough, yeah, that was stupid enough, late to the later in the season, late to later in the season, you'll see what happens with these two, anyway, yeah, I just want to put that in, because Martinsville Spring was crazy, Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson had in the bag to get a hundred, I believe their 200 win, but unfortunately, it didn't happen, and yeah, let's move on to the next story, which is, this is fall. This is spring Martinsville, so it's it's a while, I believe. Anyway, let's continue on with the story. Um. So yeah, Jimmy Johnson apparently was a Dover clown. 
What I find funny about this is why he actually did this. It's really funny that he did. <laughs> I love your Dover clan. I love that clan. I wish you would do that in IndyCar. Didn't I say that in a video before? That I would love Jimmy Johnson to be a clown in IndyCar. I'd do that if he ever wins. That'd be funny. <laughs> Look what he's doing. Okay, this wasn't more of a story. This is just me being stupid. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Phoenix Fall 2012. Jeff Gordon dumps Clint Boyer after Clint barely touches him, and they are punching in the desert. I have no idea why, but this is one of the craziest stories. I remember someone said, can they turn the TV? Oh, you missed a good one here. <laughs> that was funny. This is more funny than, but poor Kenton, he got caught up in someone else's mess. I bet you Clint would screwed with Jeff after that. They started punching. They started fighting after that. And then Brad won the championship after the 48 lost to not not the end. Yeah, always. Yeah. Let me think. If you think that 2012 was bad, average, good, normal, exciting, weird, tell me in the comments. Did you? What did you think of 2012? And yeah, always remember. So bad about. It. I'm just. I'm more upset with Greg Biffle. He's the most unprofessional little scaredy cat I've ever seen in my life. He wouldn't even fight me like a man after. So some